Quatre-vingt-dix. Ninety. Ninety. Impératif deux. Imperative two. Imperative two. Rase-toi. Shave. Shave. Lave-toi. Wash yourself. Wash yourself. Coiffe-toi. Comb your hair. Comb your hair. Appel, appelé. Call. Call. Commence, commencer. Begin. Begin. Arrête. Arrêtez. Stop. Stop. Laisse ça. Laissez ça. Leave it. Leave it. Dis ça. Dites ça. Say it. Say it. Achète ça. Achetez ça. Buy it. Buy it. Ne sois jamais malhonnête. Never be dishonest. Never be dishonest. Ne sois jamais insolent. Never be naughty. Never be naughty. Ne sois jamais impoli. Never be impolite. Never be impolite. Sois toujours honnête. Always be honest. Always be honest. Sois toujours gentil. Always be nice. Always be nice. Sois toujours poli. Always be polite. Always be polite. Rentrez bien chez vous. Hope you arrive home safely. Hope you arrive home safely. Faites bien attention à vous. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Revenez vite nous voir. Do visit us again soon. Do visit us again soon. 91 91 91 Subordonné avec que 1 Subordinate clauses that 1 Subordinate clauses that 1 Le temps sera probablement meilleur demain. Perhaps the weather will get better tomorrow. Perhaps the weather will get better tomorrow. D'où le savez-vous? How do you know that? How do you know that? J'espère qu'il sera meilleur. I hope that it gets better. I hope that it gets better. Il viendra certainement. He will definitely come. He will definitely come. Est-ce que c'est sûr? Are you sure? Are you sure? Je sais qu'il viendra. I know that he'll come. I know that he'll come. Il appellera certainement. He'll definitely call. He'll definitely call. Vraiment? Really? Really? Je crois qu'il appellera. I believe that he'll call. I believe that he'll call. Le vin est probablement vieux. The wine is definitely old. The wine is definitely old. En êtes-vous certain? Do you know that for sure? Do you know that for sure? 
Je suppose qu'il est vieux. I think that it is old. I think that it is old. Notre chef est beau. Our boss is good looking. Our boss is good looking. Vous trouvez? Do you think so? Do you think so? Je trouve même qu'il est très beau. I find him very handsome. I find him very handsome. Le chef a certainement une amie. The boss definitely has a girlfriend. The boss definitely has a girlfriend. Le croyez-vous vraiment? Do you really think so? Do you really think so? C'est bien possible qu'il ait une amie. It is very possible that he has a girlfriend. It is very possible that he has a girlfriend. 92 92 92 Subordonné avec que de Subordinate clauses that to Subordinate clauses that to Cela me fâche que tu ronfles. I'm angry that you snore. I'm angry that you snore. Cela me fâche que tu boives autant de bière. I'm angry that you drink so much beer. I'm angry that you drink so much beer. Cela me fâche que tu arrives si tard. I'm angry that you come so late. I'm angry that you come so late. Je crois qu'il a besoin d'un médecin. I think he needs a doctor. I think he needs a doctor. Je crois qu'il est malade. I think he is ill. I think he is ill. Je crois qu'il est en train de dormir. I think he is sleeping now. I think he is sleeping now. Nous espérons que notre fille se mariera. We hope that he marries our daughter. We hope that he marries our daughter. Nous espérons qu'il a beaucoup d'argent. We hope that he has a lot of money. We hope that he has a lot of money. Nous espérons qu'il est millionnaire. We hope that he is a millionaire. We hope that he is a millionaire. J'ai entendu que ta femme avait eu un accident. I heard that your wife had an accident. I heard that your wife had an accident. J'ai entendu qu'elle est à l'hôpital. I heard that she is in the hospital. I heard that she is in the hospital. J'ai entendu que ta voiture est complètement détruite. I heard that your car is completely wrecked. I heard that your car is completely wrecked. Je me réjouis que vous soyez venu. I'm happy that you came. I'm happy that you came. Je me réjouis que vous soyez intéressé. I'm happy that you are interested. I'm happy that you are interested. Je me réjouis que vous vouliez acheter la maison. I'm happy that you want to buy the house. I'm happy that you want to buy the house. Je crains que le dernier bus ne soit déjà parti. I'm afraid the last bus 
has already gone. I'm afraid the last bus has already gone. Je crains que nous ne puissions prendre un taxi. I'm afraid we will have to take a taxi. I'm afraid we will have to take a taxi. Je crains de ne pas avoir d'argent sur moi. I'm afraid I have no more money. I'm afraid I have no more money. 93 93 93 Subordonné avec si Subordinate clauses if Subordinate clauses if Je ne sais pas s'il m'aime I don't know if he loves me I don't know if he loves me Je ne sais pas s'il va revenir I don't know if he'll come back. I don't know if he'll come back. Je ne sais pas s'il va m'appeler. I don't know if he'll call me. I don't know if he'll call me. Et s'il m'aime? Maybe he doesn't love me. Maybe he doesn't love me. Et s'il revient? Maybe he won't come back. Maybe he won't come back. Et s'il m'appelle? Maybe he won't call me. Maybe he won't call me. Je me demande s'il pense à moi. I wonder if he thinks about me. I wonder if he thinks about me. Je me demande s'il en a une autre. I wonder if he has someone else. I wonder if he has someone else. Je me demande s'il ment. I wonder if he lies. I wonder if he lies. Et s'il pense à moi? Maybe he thinks of me. Maybe. He thinks of me. Et s'il en a une autre? Maybe he has someone else. Maybe he has someone else. Et s'il dit la vérité? Maybe he tells me the truth. Maybe he tells me the truth. Je doute qu'il m'aime vraiment. I doubt whether he really likes me. I doubt whether he really likes me. Je doute qu'il m'écrive. I doubt whether he'll write to me. I doubt whether he'll write to me. Je doute qu'il m'épouse. I doubt whether he'll marry me. I doubt whether he'll marry me. Et s'il m'aime? Does he really like me? Does he really like me? Et s'il m'écrit? Will he write to me? Will he write to me? Et s'il m'épouse? Will he marry me? Will he marry me? 94 94 94 Conjunction 1 Conjunctions 1 Conjunctions 1 Attends que la pluie cesse. Wait until the rain stops. Wait until the rain stops. Attends que je termine. Wait until I'm finished. Wait until I'm finished. Attends qu'il revienne. Wait until he comes back. Wait until he comes back. J'attends que mes cheveux sèchent. I'll wait until my hair is dry. I'll wait until 
My hair is dry. J'attends que le film soit fini. I'll wait until the film is over. I'll wait until the film is over. J'attends que les feux soient au vert. I'll wait until the traffic light is green. I'll wait until the traffic light is green. Quand pars-tu en congé? Where do you go on holiday? When do you go on holiday? Avant les vacances d'été? Before the summer holidays? Before the summer holidays? Oui, avant que les vacances d'été ne commencent. Yes, before the summer holidays begin. Yes, before the summer holidays begin. Répare le toit avant que l'hiver ne commence. Repair the roof before the winter begins. Repair the roof before the winter begins. Lave tes mains avant de t'asseoir à table. Wash your hands before you sit at the table. Wash your hands before you sit at the table. Ferme la fenêtre avant de sortir. Close the window before you go out. Close the window before you go out. Quand viens-tu à la maison? When will you come home? When will you come home? Après le cours? After class? After class? Oui, après que le cours est terminé. Yes, after the class is over. Yes, after the class is over. Après avoir eu un accident, il ne pouvait plus travailler. After he had an accident, he could not work any more. After he had an accident, he could not work any more. Après avoir perdu son travail, il est allé en Amérique. After he had lost his job, he went to America. After he had lost his job, he went to America. Après être allé en Amérique, il est devenu riche. After he went to America, he became rich. After he went to America, he became rich. 95 95 95 Conjonction 2 Conjunctions 2 Conjunctions 2 Depuis quand ne travaille-t-elle plus? Since when is she no longer working? Since when is she no longer working? Depuis son mariage? Since her marriage? Since her marriage? Oui, elle ne travaille plus depuis qu'elle s'est mariée. Yes, she is no longer working since she got married. Yes, she is no longer working since she got married. Depuis qu'elle s'est mariée, elle ne travaille plus. Since she got married, she's no longer working. Since she got married, she's no longer working. Depuis qu'ils se connaissent, ils sont heureux. Since they have met each other, they are happy. Since they have met each other, they are happy. Depuis qu'ils ont des enfants, ils sortent rarement. Since they have had children, they rarely go out. Since they have had children, they rarely go out. 
Quand téléphone-t-elle When does she call When does she call Pendant le trajet When driving When driving Oui, en conduisant. Yes, when she is driving. Yes, when she is driving. Elle téléphone en conduisant. She calls while she drives. She calls while she drives. Elle regarde la télévision en repassant. She watches TV while she irons. She watches TV while she irons. Elle écoute de la musique en faisant ses devoirs. She listens to music while she does her work. She listens to music while she does her work. Je ne vois rien lorsque je n'ai pas de lunettes. I can't see anything when I don't have glasses. I can't see anything when I don't have glasses. Je ne comprends rien quand la musique est trop forte. I can't understand anything when the music is so loud. I can't understand anything when the music is so loud. Je ne sens rien lorsque j'ai un rhume. I can't smell anything when I have a cold. I can't smell anything when I have a cold. Nous prendrons un taxi s'il pleut. We'll take a taxi if it rains. We'll take a taxi if it rains. Nous ferons le tour du monde si nous gagnons à la loterie. We'll travel around the world if we win the lottery. We'll travel around the world if we win the lottery. Nous commencerons le repas s'il n'arrive pas bientôt. We'll start eating if he doesn't come soon. We'll start eating if he doesn't come soon. 96 96 96 Conjunction 3 Conjunctions 3 Conjunctions 3 je me lève dès que le réveil sonne. I get up as soon as the alarm rings. I get up as soon as the alarm rings. Je me fatigue dès que je dois étudier. I become tired as soon as I have to study. I become tired as soon as I have to study. J'arrêterai le travail dès que j'aurai soixante ans. I will stop working as soon as I'm sixty. I will stop working as soon as I am sixty. Quand appellerez-vous? When will you call? When will you call? Dès que j'aurai le temps. As soon as I have a moment. As soon as I have a moment. Il appelle dès qu'il a le temps. He'll call as soon as he has a little time. He'll call as soon as he has a little time. Combien de temps travaillerez-vous? How long will you work? How long will you work? Je travaillerai aussi longtemps que je le peux. I'll work as long as I can. I'll work as long as I can. Je travaillerai aussi longtemps que je serai en bonne santé. I'll work as long as I'm healthy. I'll work as long as I am healthy. Il reste au lit au lieu de travailler. 
He lies in bed instead of working. He lies in bed instead of working. Elle lit le journal au lieu de faire la cuisine. She reads the newspaper instead of cooking. She reads the newspaper instead of cooking. Il est assis au bistrot au lieu d'aller à la maison. He is at the bar instead of going home. He is at the bar instead of going home. Autant que je le sache, il habite ici. As far as I know, he lives here. As far as I know, he lives here. Autant que je le sache, sa femme est malade. As far as I know, his wife is ill. As far as I know, his wife is ill. Autant que je le sache, il est au chômage. As far as I know, he is unemployed. As far as I know, he is unemployed. Si je ne m'étais pas endormi, j'aurais été à l'heure. I overslept. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. I overslept. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. Si je n'avais pas manqué le bus, j'aurais été à l'heure. I missed the bus. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. I missed the bus. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. Si je ne m'étais pas perdu, j'aurais été à l'heure. I didn't find the way. I got lost. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. I got lost. Otherwise, I'd have been on time. 97 97 97 Conjonction 4 Conjunctions 4 Conjunctions 4 Il s'est endormi quoique la télévision ait été allumée. He fell asleep although the TV was on. He fell asleep although the TV was on. Il est encore resté quoiqu'il était déjà tard. He stayed a while although it was late. He stayed a while although it was late. Il n'est pas venu, quoique nous nous soyons donné rendez-vous. He didn't come, although we had made an appointment. He didn't come, although we had made an appointment. La télévision était allumée. Malgré tout, il s'est endormi. The TV was on. Nevertheless, he fell asleep. The TV was on. Nevertheless, he fell asleep. Il était déjà tard. Malgré tout, il est encore resté. It was already late. Nevertheless, he stayed a while. It was already late. Nevertheless, he stayed a while. Nous nous étions donné rendez-vous. Malgré tout, il n'est pas venu. We had made an appointment. Nevertheless, he didn't come. We had made an appointment. Nevertheless, he didn't come. Quoi qu'il n'ait pas de permis de conduire, il va en voiture. Although he has no license, he drives the car. Although he has no license, he drives the car. Quoique la route soit vert glacé, il roule vite. Although the road is slippery, he drives so fast. Although the road is slippery, he drives so fast. Quoiqu'il soit ivre, 
Il fait de la bicyclette. Although he is drunk, he rides his bicycle. Although he is drunk, he rides his bicycle. Il n'a pas de permis de conduire. Malgré tout, il va en voiture. Despite having no license, he drives the car. Despite having no license, he drives the car. La route est verglacée. Malgré tout, il roule vite. Despite the road being slippery, he drives fast. Despite the road being slippery, he drives fast. Il est ivre. Malgré tout, il fait de la bicyclette. Despite being drunk, he rides the bike. Despite being drunk, he rides the bike. Elle ne trouve aucun emploi, quoiqu'elle ait fait des études. Although she went to college, she can't find a job. Although she went to college, she can't find a job. Elle ne va pas chez le médecin, quoiqu'elle souffre. Although she is in pain, she doesn't go to the doctor. Although she is in pain, she doesn't go to the doctor. Elle achète une voiture, quoiqu'elle n'ait pas d'argent. Although she has no money, she buys a car. Although she has no money, she buys a car. Elle a fait des études. Malgré tout, elle n'a pas trouvé d'emploi. She went to college. Nevertheless, she can't find a job. She went to college. Nevertheless, she can't find a job. Elle souffre. Malgré tout, elle ne va pas chez le médecin. She is in pain. Nevertheless, she doesn't go to the doctor. She is in pain. Nevertheless, she doesn't go to the doctor. Elle n'a pas d'argent. Malgré tout, elle achète une voiture. She has no money. Nevertheless, she buys a car. She has no money. Nevertheless, she buys a car. 98 98 98 Conjonction double Double connectors Double connectors Le voyage était certes beau, mais trop fatigant. The journey was beautiful, but too tiring. The journey was beautiful, but too tiring. Le train était certes à l'heure, mais complet. The train was on time, but too full. The train was on time, but too full. L'hôtel était certes agréable, mais trop cher. The hotel was comfortable, but too expensive. The hotel was comfortable, but too expensive. Il prend soit le bus, soit le train. He'll take either the bus or the train. He'll take either the bus or the train. Il vient soit ce soir, soit demain matin. He'll come either this evening or tomorrow morning. He'll come either this evening or tomorrow morning. Il loge soit chez nous, soit à l'hôtel. He's going to stay either with us or in the hotel. He's going to stay either with us or in the hotel. Elle parle non seulement l'espagnol, mais aussi l'anglais. She speaks Spanish as well as English. She speaks Spanish 
as well as English. Elle a vécu non seulement à Madrid, mais aussi à Londres. She has lived in Madrid as well as in London. She has lived in Madrid as well as in London. Elle connaît non seulement l'Espagne, mais aussi l'Angleterre. She knows Spain as well as England. She knows Spain as well as England. Il est non seulement bête, mais aussi paresseux. He is not only stupid, but also lazy. He is not only stupid, but also lazy. Elle est non seulement jolie, mais aussi intelligente. She is not only pretty, but also intelligent. She is not only pretty, but also intelligent. Elle parle non seulement l'allemand, mais aussi le français. She speaks not only German, but also French. She speaks not only German, but also French. Je ne sais jouer ni du piano ni de la guitare. I can neither play the piano nor the guitar. I can neither play the piano nor the guitar. Je ne sais danser ni la valse ni la samba. I can neither waltz nor do the samba. I can neither waltz nor do the samba. Je n'aime ni l'opéra ni le ballet. I like neither opera nor ballet. I like neither opera nor ballet. Plus tu travailles vite, plus tôt tu auras terminé. The faster you work, the earlier you will be finished. The faster you work, the earlier you will be finished. Plus tôt tu viens, plus tôt tu seras parti. The earlier you come, the earlier you can go. The earlier you come, the earlier you can go. Plus on vieillit, plus on aime se mettre à l'aise. The older one gets, the more complacent one gets. The older one gets, the more complacent one gets. 99 99 Genitif 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 Le chat de mon ami My girlfriend's cat My girlfriend's cat Le chien de mon ami My boyfriend's dog My boyfriend's dog Les jouets de mes enfants My children's toys My children's toys C'est le manteau de mon collègue This is my colleague's overcoat This is my colleague's overcoat C'est la voiture de ma collègue That is my colleague's car that is my colleague's car. C'est le travail de mes collègues. That is my colleague's work. That is my colleague's work. Le bouton de la chemise est parti. The button from the shirt is gone. The button from the shirt is gone. La clé du garage n'est pas là. The garage key is gone. The garage key is gone. L'ordinateur du chef est cassé. The boss's computer is not working. The boss's computer is not working. Qui sont les parents de la jeune fille? 
Who are the girl's parents? Who are the girl's parents? Comment est-ce que j'arrive à la maison de ses parents? How did I get to her parents' house? How do I get to her parents' house? La maison est située au bout de la rue. The house is at the end of the road. The house is at the end of the road. Comment s'appelle la capitale de la Suisse? What is the name of the capital city of Switzerland? What is the name of the capital city of Switzerland? Quel est le titre de ce livre? What is the title of the book? What is the title of the book? Comment s'appellent les enfants des voisins? What are the names of the neighbor's children? What are the names of the neighbor's children? À quelle date sont les vacances des enfants? When are the children's holidays? When are the children's holidays? Quelles sont les heures de consultation du médecin? What are the doctor's consultation times? What are the doctor's consultation times? Quelles sont les heures d'ouverture du musée? What time is the museum open? What time is the museum open? So. One hundred. One hundred. Adverb. Adverbs. Adverbs. Déjà, pas encore. Already, not yet. Already, not yet. Avez-vous déjà été à Berlin? Have you already been to Berlin? Have you already been to Berlin? Non, pas encore. No, not yet. No, not yet. Quelqu'un, personne. Someone, no one. Someone, no one. Connaissez-vous quelqu'un ici? Do you know someone here? Do you know someone here? Non, je ne connais personne ici. No, I don't know anyone here. No, I don't know anyone here. Encore, ne plus. A little longer, not much longer. A little longer, not much longer. Restez-vous encore longtemps ici? Will you stay here a little longer? Will you stay here a little longer? Non, je ne reste plus longtemps ici. No, I won't stay here much longer. No, I won't stay here much longer. Encore quelque chose, plus rien. Something else, nothing else. Something else. Nothing else. Voulez-vous encore boire quelque chose? Would you like to drink something else? Would you like to drink something else? Non, je ne désire plus rien. No, I don't want anything else. No, I don't want anything else. Déjà quelque chose? Encore rien. Something already, nothing yet. Something already, nothing yet. Avez-vous déjà mangé quelque chose? Have you already eaten something? Have you already eaten something? Non, je n'ai encore rien mangé. No, I haven't eaten anything yet. No, I haven't eaten anything yet. 
Encore quelqu'un, plus personne. Someone else. No one else. Someone else. No one else. Est-ce que quelqu'un voudrait encore un café? Does anyone else want a coffee? Does anyone else want a coffee? Non, plus personne. No, no one else. No, nope. no one else.